Hello. With the recent patch we got today, we got the skill tree changes and two new characters to the game. One of them is Maria Flores and the other one is Hans. In this video, we're going to talk about Maria Florence's loadouts, her skill tree and her ability. So Maria Flores is kind of unique, her playstyle. Of course, like every other victim, her ability, I would say, is not overtuned. It's not underpowered. It's fun to use and it just gives a lot of information for you and your teammate. Also, she has a grandpa immunity which means Grandpa will never scream or highlight you if you're close to him, which allows you to go for specific plays or changes, or you can sneak past him and, yeah, not get highlighted. For example, on Slaughterhouse, if you come up from two storage, Grandpa spawned there. Most of the time it was a pain because it didn't matter what you do, you always get highlighted. And with Maria, that will not happen. So you can sneak up cook grandpa, you can step in and you still won't get highlighted. You can go there, you can use her ability which is sweet talk and then you can start to use the family members against the family. So the victims will not get highlighted which allows them to to play and play, play way faster and do not have to slow down and stop. And also grandpa level 5 then they don't get highlighted and it's just the family member get highlighted. So it's a very unique Sometimes extremely helpful and sometimes a insane way to outplay the family members. So yeah, her base stats are not too broken, her ability is not too broken, but she's also not in a very weak state. I do like her perks, I do like her playstyle, and with that we are going to start. So first of all we're going to talk about her attribute points. And I would say... Back in the days, you always want to go 44 toughness or higher, but with the scout change, it, it does not really matter. I still do like high toughness, because the more toughness, the more hits you can take, the, the easier it is to, for you to survive an overhead, even though you are not full HP. And also, of course, like the more hitchhiker hits, the more sissy hits, whatever, you will survive. Also you stand up quicker. So if you jump out of a window, jump down the well, you get knocked down by Leatherface, you get back up quicker on your feet. So having high toughness is never a, a bad call. So I have 38 in here. And then we have Endurance. Endurance is how, how long you can sprint and how fast your stamina is gonna reach in once you stop sprinting. So 30 always feels nice. Uh, I would not recommend going below, especially because she does not have jump start. Even with dirty endurance, you have to be careful. If you find yourself running out of stamina a lot, you can put points out of toughness, maybe even two points in proficiency and put them all here. But yeah, I I think 44 is a nice spot. You can do it fast. You're not as fast of opening the stuff, but fast enough to not get pained and and get annoyed so yeah having this uh is a very nice mix which feels super pleasant to play with and that's why i go for dirty endurance here grand is well it considers how fast you can win a close encounter how how high your chances are to win a close encounter how fast you can kick generator or free yourself from the ropes in the beginning i would say strength and stealth are Kind of the most useless perks. We did some testing and realized your HP counts way more. So let's say you have 60% HP or 70% and you have 10 strength, you will still win the close encounter. But if you're low on HP for you have like 20%, 10% HP and 50 strength, then you also then, then you will lose the close encounter. So yeah, having more toughness means you can take more hits or before you go to a low threshold, so then even with low strength you win close encounter. So this is the only thing I don't like her, high strength, but uh, uh, yeah, it's also, it can come in handy, right? So picking generator is also an option for her and it's not too painful. Then we have proficiency. Proficiency is, I would say, 90% of your actions. So if you unlock a door, if you unlock the... The padlock, the basement door, unlock the fuse, the, the car battery, you want to look for 
bone shards, tools outside of the house and you don't want to make noise, then also high proficiency helps you if you hold it down. So yeah, since most of the time, whatever you do as a victim, you need high proficiency, I would go 44. It does not help putting um, an, an uneven, an odd number in here, because 45 in the end, you need the exact same amount of clicks to unlock a full gate like you do with 44. So always make sure to have this as an as an even number. It makes a difference if you wanna wanna unlock one third, right? So if you say, okay, but wanna do one third now, run around, come back later, then yes. But yeah, I would say most of the time keep it as a even number, and 44 just feels nice. And then we have stealth, which is well, whenever you go up a ladder, you take a cross base. Well, your victim makes noise. The higher your stealth, the lower that voice is. It's I don't know. Also, for example, if you want to tap, you know, don't want to hold a button and you want to tap a button to open stuff, whatever, he high stealth helps. So if you want to open a crawl space, you have high stealth, you can tap E on, on keyboard and open it quicker. But yeah, it's like, I would say stealth and like strength are not good. So that's why I'm running with those attribute points. And it feels nice. It feels um, you're good all-rounder. You don't feel like, okay, I'm missing out on stuff. That's why I like her base attribute points. And yeah, like I said, you can change it up a little bit as I just showed you. So then we're going to talk about her skill tree. I was kind of sad that if you want to have take one door, you have to take a very weird route with very weird perks. Um, so yeah, I guess no take one door for her. I also did a little bit less door slamming because I felt a lot of ping problems, server problems, uh, which made the door slams very inconsistent. And now my go-to door slammer will be Sunny. So if I really want to mess around and play some door slams, I go Sunny, so I'm not gonna go there. And then I think this is probably maybe one of her best unique perks, so that's why we went middle. Once you went middle, so you do get good perks, which is right rent track and stun W you wanna go right. And then most of the time you just look at the top what is a good perk. A very good most of the time you look for healing perks, right? So he has no extra drip and stuff like that. So you need to take what doesn't kill you, which is the best healing perk for her. So you go here and then you just, you know, once you end up here, you just beeline that. And on the way, they're also not bad perks. You have like, I know ancients, if there's a bubble in the game, you have wall hack on the bubble. If you want to have more proficiency, you can get highly skilled. You can get highly skilled and ran track, for example, and still have a shit ton of toughness if you want to prefer that. And if you find yourself running out of stamina a lot, you can still take choose by. This makes her very versatile and you can adapt to every situation by going to skill tree. And you also have one of the most points you can get out of a skill tree, so you can put them in your attribute points. So then we're going to talk about her perks. This is, I would say, my main loadout, which I would always run. And we're going to talk about the two which I would say should be fixed. And this is fixed. So, when you sweet talk to Grandpa, which is your ability, and we're gonna talk about ability later, but when you use your ability on Grandpa, and then they feed him, they get 10% less on, like, on level 3, they get 20% less. And this goes for 3 feeds. So, the meta as a family is to either have 25 blood harvesting, so your max amount of blood is 100, so you kill a victim and you have 100 blood. So now they get level 1 if they feed him. If you reduce that by 20, uh, well, they get 80 blood. So they're going to miss out complete. On a so you kind of deny them from leveling up Grandpa. Because you used your ability, which is like a little step. And also if you add that up, right, after they used it three times, they miss out on 60 blood, which is, you know, half a level. Okay, let's run it up. With, let's be super nice there. And let's say you... You deny them a level so it's kind of like stepping grandpa while you use ability this is super nice also the other amount is like 50 blood harvesting universal donor which will end you up with 120 ish a little bit more than 120 blood so now you take the 120 blood and you take 20 percent of that well guess what that's 24 so you also 
give the grandpa 60 uh, 96 so it's not like i think it's a little bit more than 120 but it's around the 120 mark i think it's 126 blood you feed the grandpa and even then you will reduce the amount enough so they don't get the level up so it doesn't matter what they're running the meta 100 feeding or the universal donor it will always hurt them a lot and of course if they go hardcore blood feeding universal donor blood banker where they feed 180 blood well then well <laughs> nearly nearly lose the entire entire level on grandpa so this is just a very very strong perk if you want to use your ability and i would always say use your ability the fun fact is if they have grandpa level one you can go there you can use your ability and step him afterwards which goes back to level zero and then your power ability stays so grandpa then will be able to be fed again and then they get less so if they have level one you step them and then they try to feed them well then they're not gonna get level one back which is extremely strong it's very strong and then even if they scream they work against grandpa so yeah it's uh in my opinion uh maybe even her best perk it's at least like if you want to play with her ability right so yeah this is fixed and then like i said you want a heal perk she has no other real heal perk in her kit healing perks in my opinion are very important so what doesn't kill you is very strong obviously not as strong for for hitchhiker hits or sissy hits but a lot of time, especially if the ladder face hits you while you climb down the well, and then you get your full HP back, or you just take a gap or a crawl space and he hits you, you take the full HP back. Also against like these small, it's, it's still like, even though if it's like no, no savagery hit, it's, it's nearly a small health potion, which you will get back. So yeah, this is the healing perk. And this is what you always want to run as well, in my opinion. And then we're going to talk about the last perk, which is very flexible depending on what you're running against so if you have a hitchhiker nancy or a hands you can have bomb squads so you can get rid of the traps right? and you don't you want to do fuse for example right you have to remove the hitchhiker or hands trap and then go back because you cannot only have without bomb squad a bone shot and a, and a lock pick and with bomb squad you can have a, a lock pick and the fuse and bomb squad and do it also annoying traps on gates or whatever you don't have to get out of your way to get bombs uh bone shards always very helpful uh well not obviously needed right so you can also mix it out and like i said if you really want to open doors very quickly uh, quickly you can take highly skilled so you max out proficiency and get a little bit more toughness then also um stunt double if you manage to take a well a lot or if you play on family house and you want to go for window right like in in general also just taking wells you take less damage you stand up quicker is very strong because well you will always take at least a well once per game in a, in a normal game let's say it like that right then you have the i know engines which is uh kind of like a letter face wall hack right so when, when bubble runs around overhead and you have this equipped you will see letter face Obviously, you can hear him, but sometimes the sound is a little bit off, right? Or But it's also 40 meters, so you, you can already tell if he's running away for you or coming for you, so you have to be careful. Uh, very good perk, not to underestimate. And then, obviously, endurance. So you have, like, if you manage, you, you run this build and you see, okay, now nah, I run out of a stamina a lot, you can run run track, right? Or you can just run choose fight, depending on how you want to do it. And with that, you're equipped for every situation. And what I think is also not the worst. So if you have a lot of games where you want to, okay, uh, I want to defuse this game. And you come up, you find the fuse instantly. And then you check the fuse spawns. And you realize, okay, like from all the four spots, the last one I checked was the fuse. And maybe I took way too much damage on my way. So intuition, I, I really started to love this perk. Because you go there, you pick up a fuse, and then you can already, whatever, check the distance. Ah, where is it? Ah, okay, it's too far, whatever. Go back it down. Same goes for wolf handle, right? So you don't spend a lot of time. So yeah, depending on your playstyle, depending on what you do, depending what the fan members are playing, depending how how often you miss out on, on opening door just in time, or running out of stamina, or surviving just a bit, right? You can obviously put every single perk in there. That's why I like her. She's very versatile and yeah, depending on your situation, on your playstyle, you can adapt it. And like I said, I, I really love the grandpa 
Grandpa tampering with the with the with her ability with his perk, yeah. So yeah, and now we are going to talk about her ability. Her ability is sweet talk. So first of all, like I said, she is immune to grandpa highlighting ish. So not if he screams and you run, they're not. But if you in front of grandpa, if you wanna sneak behind him, if you run in front of him, if you wanna go towards him, so you stab him most of the time. Grandpa screams, you will be highlighted, and the family member already starts running towards you. So even if you don't want to sweet talk with him, you just want to step him or mess around or um, get some chases or, well, need to go somewhere where Grandpa is, right? The best example is a slaughterhouse where you want to go upstairs to storage or on gas station when he's in the house. You want to go there or on family house and you want to beeline the window. So a lot of scenarios where Grandpa can be very, very annoying. Uh, so yeah, this is like one of the, one of the first things and yeah, now let's talk about where you want to put your points in. So in my opinion, let's start level three. I think her best one is this one here. So whenever you, you sweet talk grandpa, it, it highlights them twice. So like it highlights the fan member twice. Um, but maybe that inflicts with, I can't tell because I don't have it. Maybe that inflicts with her sweet talk. So you cannot sweet talk grandpa while he is already sweet talk, right? So if you really want to mess around and sweet talk him more often, so you trigger your perks often, this could inflict or like, like disturb that synergy. If that's not the case, I would go for this. Otherwise I would go for the right. So on the right, it, um, it says that uh, you you don't have to step in, you sweet talk in, and if he's level 1, like I explained earlier, you set him back to level 0, because level 2, I don't know how high the range is, but I guess if you sweet talked him once, it's gonna be like that forever, so whoever is close will be highlighted. Can be very strong in family house, so if you have family house, you can go for this, and otherwise, yeah, I would say the go-to is level on the left one. And since that's the case, you obviously want to aim for, for this one or this one. And I would say the less time you spend in the open sweet talking to him, the better. And like I said, as while he is sweet talked already, you cannot sweet talk him again. Uh, which means your cooldown is maybe not so important. That's why I would go for, for the right one. And then obviously to... To reduce the sweet talk still is like 20%. So yeah, my way would be right, middle, and then left. But like I said, it can change up. Uh, I'm not too sure about it. So there's also obviously a way where you go like right, middle, and then left. And if you realize, okay, the family members are rushing too hard, you can maybe even go left, left, and then middle. Okay. In my opinion, let's see how it interacts with my perk. Maybe I can just reset it, right? And then it still will be for the next two. So if this is the case, I would always go right, middle, and left on her ability. So that's it. Um, yeah. I hope this was useful. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. You hope you're going to make some use out of this in your next game. If that is the case, make sure to leave a like. And as always, if you feel super nice, make sure to leave a comment in the video below or subscribe to my channel in case you didn't already. Thanks for watching and good luck in your next games. Bye bye.